funny. I'm Danielle. And I'm Christina. And this is me, our first get ready with us while we drink wine. And this is our bottle of choice. <laughs> Recommended by Christine. So let's cheers. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay. Are we going to go in? We're, We're going starting. In. Okay, so I wanted to treat us to a little Peter Thomas Roth these 24K are, gold. These are my I favorite. only know this because of you. They are unreal. I will literally look like a corpse, and then once I put these on, I'm ready to take on the day. I literally but they're so juicy. They're so good. So juicy. When you put them on, do you put this little piece in the I corner? I never know. I'm going to do the little piece. I love them. Yes. All right, let's do it. Let's get the show on the road. All right. <clears throat> so, I'm going to use my P. Louise base. Me too. I'm just, the only reason I'm cleaning my bra is because you said it dries fast, so I'd rather do that Yeah, first. you're completely right about that. That was a good call. It's a very pretty color. Well, this color is light. It comes in all different ones. Like, this was the first one I bought, so um, this is I one. wanted to. And I think we need some more. Tell me when you, when you need it. It's definitely, like, your most popular shade. It looks like MAC Painter Lay when it comes out. Not Soft Ogre. Not Soft Ogre. <laughs> Christina is obsessed with Soft Ogre. Right? The best thing that's happened to me. I used to love Painter Lay, and then once I found out what Soft Ogre was, I was like, this is unreal. I love anything that's yellow, and it's so yellow. It's very yellow. Okay. You want to hear a funny story? Sure. When I was in kindergarten, my mother put me in tap class, <laughs> and Aww. at the recital, my shoe fell off. Aww. But everybody was amazed that I kept dancing. Oh, <laughs> Christina. That's dedication, though. So tap, tap, tap. I think we're going to do a bronzy glam. Bronzy. That's like my go-to. Danielle's signature look. I it guess. is. What is your signature look? Like what? One eyeshadow in the crease. Soft brown from MAC. <laughs> and soft ochre. And soft ochre. No, seriously. You have a go-to look. Like, tell me. <sighs> soft brown. And a little bit of teddy eyeliner. And a big lash. Yes. Fuck me up. Whatever I can get on in five minutes. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. So are we both going to use... So me and Christina, we met like five years ago. Christina, how old are you? I'm 22. Christina's 22 and I'm 27. At MAC about five years ago. We both started at MAC like literally. I started the day before her. She started the next day. And when I first saw her, I'm like, who's this bitch? Right? I was literally like, first of all, they hired somebody that sort of looks like yeah. me. When they it's said like that great. their demographic, everybody had to look different. <laughs> yes. I only thought Danielle was a bitch. I thought Christina was. I'm like, right. I'm like, I'm like she's gonna be my freaking issue, and I don't have issues. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't have issues with anyone. <sighs> and we ended up being BFFs and leaving around the same time. Yes. So that's our story. This is history, and now we're here. I'm so glad we finally got to do this. We both have a wedding that we need. What time do you have to wake up? Tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, I should have to be up at a casual 4.30. Okay. I have to be up at 5. Not too bad. But we live in. So we had a few questions. Off the top of my head, I remember people asking us. Talk to me, baby. One was who our celebrity makeup inspiration was. Mm -hmm. So you could start. Patrick freaking ta. I, he is so freaking talented. It's on a different level. Yeah, he is. I agree with you. I'm kidding. He is. I don't know how he makes skin look like that. I he don't, makes skin look like skin. He makes skin look better than skin. Yes. That's how you... That's exactly how to... My... Favorite celebrity makeup artist right now has to be Makeup by Ariel. I forgot about him, honestly. I don't think I see his stuff anymore. His work is I impeccable. Think all I see is Patrick Ta because I just oh my god, him. no, his work is impeccable. I'm obsessed all the time. I would. Would you ever do your makeup for your own wedding? To be honest with you, I don't think so. Like, it depends. Maybe I would. 
But in the grand scheme of things, I want to be enjoying my family and, like, drinking and, like, having a good time. Like, I don't know if I would want to be doing my makeup the day of my wedding and having that pressure. Like, could you imagine ruining your makeup for no, the day of your wedding? No, because I could so picture myself. Like, if my makeup doesn't come out good and I, like, ruin, a, like, my eyeliner or something, I am such a brat. I'm like, I'm not going She's out. not walking down the aisle. Forget it. I'm like, I'm not going. Because they have a freaking hairline. You know, we said bronzy glam and somehow I went in with, like, an orange. So... <laughs> so did you. <laughs> so did I. How did you start getting into makeup? Or it's why? a funny story. It's a funny story. Let's hear it. So there's two parts to this story. First is I always loved doing makeup. I grew up with two sisters, and my parents at the time were really strict. And they'd have my Yaya watch us during the summer, and I would have nothing better to do than raid my mother's makeup cabinets because my Yaya did not know how to swim, so we weren't allowed in the backyard in the Aww. summer to swim when oh, she was around. A, so I would sit my sisters down and do their makeup yeah, a bunch. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I love her. My sister's makeup a bunch when she was asleep. When I would she was asleep? Yeah, she would, we would watch my big back Greek wedding and my eye would like doze off. Yeah, I don't have that cute yellow brush. That's so, my, yeah, what the heck? brush is on your side. Oh my gosh, sorry. So God. that like sparked my interest for makeup. Especially because my mom would always do our makeup so beautiful for our dance recitals. Aww. So I always loved how it came out. And then I was also a really big theater geek in high school. But I was never good enough to get a lead role. Aww. But they knew that I liked doing makeup and that I was good at it. So they would put me in um, ensemble in the back. And I would sing in the back and I did everybody's makeup. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know that about you. Yup. So you tell me how you got started. I hate to say it, but you too. I was obsessed with Makeup Geek and Candy Johnson. Those are my two Classics. faves. And she would do like these shot matte. It was always like MAC shadows. So I would write down every eyeshadow. And I would go to MAC. I'm like, yep, I want all of these. And every birthday I went to, I would get my makeup done there. And I always was like, oh, I, I wish I can work there. And I, I'm going to smoke the shit out of my under eyes. It's like coming back. No, Proud Family. I loved Proud Family. Did you? Oh my god, what did you put on your lash line? Did, did you wet it? it? No. No. And what brush are you using? What is it? I am using a Morphe M213 brush. I love it. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Uh, in my hair. <laughs> Jeans. Is that crazy? What did you expect? Right eye. Please do not get this in my. This one. <laughs> Wait, this one, right? <laughs> okay, please look down at the floor. Hope everyone here. No, no, <laughs> no. This is not funny. <laughs> I'm gonna take a wee bit. I'm gonna apply this into my skin and massage it. <laughs> this is it. sick. No. You take so much. I took a glob. All right. That's I why you go through it a month a week. I mean, um, once a month. I don't oh my god, this stuff feels so good. I know. Now I'm putting Becca Shimmer. We're putting Opal. No. Opal. Was I right? Yeah. <laughs> I like to massage my skin. Era Beauty Foundation. Oh. So I never tried Era Beauty until about like a month ago, and as of lately, I've been extremely obsessed with it. It gives a satin finish. It's medium to full coverage, and it's absolutely These are amazing. From mine, it's so fine. Okay. Please. Okay, you know? so I like to spray this directly on the beauty blender. I feel like I get more coverage when I spray on the beauty blender rather than on the face. Oh, you like a heap in your mouth. <laughs> yes, I do. Whoa, got in my wine. Tell me it didn't. Honey, I'm so pale right now. If you're wondering what shade we're using, it's Champagne R4 because we're white as night. White as night? White as day. We are so white, it's disgusting. I'm keeping this makeup on for tomorrow. I'm light three, honey. Nars. I have concealer underneath. I'm like, wow. Who, oh my. I'm like, who are you, bitch? You want me to use this one? Yeah, try it. You're gonna love it. 
<gasps> yes. Oh, that's like a little red. I love it. Yeah, they make this pink and pop. It looks so good. Julia. I'm going to the shower. So this is what I'm doing. I am taking all three of these and highlighting with my, my Kitco brush in 0.9. I'm going to start around like crazy about highlighter as of lately I've really been liking the subtle highlight I'm using hover by Mac and I'm using lip cheat iconic nude from Charles Weber are you overlining yeah I'm using really me by Mac I'm using peach sock from Mac <gasps> what a staple let me say Thank you so much the entire time and watched our nonsense. You're absolutely the Hope best. Hope you learned a few tricks or some products that you want to try. And we want to know what you want to see in the next video. Love ya. Good night. Cheers. Cheers, bitch.